Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1. Fathead, Candy Roth, Cold ice uh we are going to get above freezing here in the next hour in most places and rain switching to rain uh so we will kind of clear this out but uh definitely a little little dicey out there for your drive yes if you can extend your stay at home today probably the best thing to do yeah why not if that's uh on you know in the cards for you then, uh, then do that. Candy, a few things going on with this radio station. Uh, we are proud and happy to welcome back Drew Baldridge to Mulcahy's. That will happen Thursday, March 7th. Tickets are on sale at moles.com. And besides being a friend of the station and many hits over the years, uh, Drew Baldridge, which, with a viral hit lately uh, called She's Somebody's Daughter, which your son may like, by the way. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, very appropriate for uh, girl dads, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be a great show. Thursday, March 7th, Drew Baldridge. And um, we are doing a great, great thing. So uh, we have partnered once again with Hibaritos with Troops. That is uh, uh, an organization that comes to us from our Spanish radio stations. And uh, our whole company is doing this, where if you go on our website, you can click the link, Letters to the Troops or Hibaritos with Troops. You'll see it. You click it. You can write an email, like a letter, to the troops overseas, and this organization gathers them. We get the emails. We gather them, and then they put them all together and send them overseas to the troops around Valentine's Day, Candy. Oh, I love that. With care packages and food and all sorts of great stuff to show the troops that, you know, how much we care for them. Here's the other thing. We are accepting handwritten letters and cards. Like if you're a teacher and you have a class and you want to write letters to the troops, you can drop them off at our uh, radio station in Ronkonkoma, Monday through Friday. This is all through February 5th, up until February 5th, because then this organization is going to package them all and send them out to the troops. All the details are at licountry.com. Isn't Love that it. nice? It's beautiful, really beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so excited for that. So Gets me. Gets me going. Yeah, uh, please uh, do, do what you can to... Uh, to uh, make it a nice Valentine's Day for everybody overseas. Uh, Candy, bef- yeah, before I get into um, National Days, any uh, anything uh, anything on your mind, anything specific you need to... Uh... No, I think we cover quite a lot today. Okay, just just making sure. Oh, this is, this. you know what? Glad I said that to you because I, I didn't even do this story. So uh, someone ordered delivery, a restaurant in the U.K., Uh, got a very amusing request in their delivery notes section on their app. The person wrote they ordered a 9-inch Texas barbecue-style pizza, a double chocolate ice cream waffle with chocolate sauce, and a Dr. Pepper. This was the order. Mm -hmm. All right. And on the delivery order, they wrote, Knock quietly... I'm supposed to be on a diet. <laughs> so someone else was in the house. Now, my initial question is, I don't care how you knock, you leave the food, the other person doesn't know the food's there. How are you going to eat a pizza, ice cream waffle, and a Dr. Pepper without that person in your house knowing that you are doing so. Is there a safe room they have for such eating? Yeah, that's crazy. Anything is possible. Anything uh, is possible. And, not quietly. You know, not wanting to see uh, you eat something. I would, first of all, not have it delivered. I would bring that silently into the house. <laughs> yeah. Leave leave it and run. or something. Run. I, right. Yeah. Like, I don't know. All right. Well, how'd they make out? Were they able to eat all of that? Nobody caught them? It does not say. Uh, we do not I'd like the know. follow up to that. Yeah, I'd like video of that as well. Yeah, me too. Please, somebody with the pizza and the yeah. waffle and hiding from someone. Thank you. You know, you're in another room and all of a sudden you're like, "Do I smell pizza?" <laughs> I don't get it. I don't. But the restaurant did uh, listen to the 
to the note. And they, and they very they, gently knocked on the door. They did. Mm-hmm. Uh, Candy, it's National Fig Newton Day. No thank you. I happen to love Fig Newtons. I feel like in the recesses of my mind, I remember you telling me that. I love them. Brian loves them. And you know what he loves? He takes them and gets them stale. He likes them stale. Oh, is that a thing? I guess so. I'll eat them stale. I don't mind. But I do like Fig Newtons. Really? Yeah. Gets, opens the package, leaves them out on the really counter. Really any cookie he will do that with. He That's loves, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a stale chocolate chip cookie. Not according to Brian. No, no, that no. That is What What is... I'm sorry. Like, listen, I'm all for everyone has their own thing. <laughs> You know, everyone does their thing. For, but what is the, where's the, the draw of it? Yes, he of likes them st- hard and crunchy and stale. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, it's National Fig Newton Day. Uh, it's National Religious Freedom Day. That would be nice. Everyone uh, could Yeah, just, that's you know. what this country really was based on. We seem yep. to forget that. It is National Nothing Day today, Candy. Oh, it's my day. What are you yeah, doing just today? Nothing. S- nothing. Mm-mm. Nothing. Sit and observe and just, you know, hang out. Put my AirPods in. Woo-woo. Yes, by the way, if you're just joining us, Candy got AirPods for Christmas. <laughs> and she just got them because her Christmas party was delayed a few weeks. That's right. I had like an epiphany. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's amazing, though. They, they sound so good. Don't they sound so good? So good. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Uh, and it's National Without a Scalpel Day, showing all the great things we can do in medicine without cutting people open how about it's that it's truly amazing it is you could just go home with a band-aid these days can i mean eat your gallbladder out they don't cut you they do a laser some that's, sort of laser thing it's wild yeah uh, it's, it's just crazy. the whole thing uh candy and animal shelter in richmond virginia took a morbidly obese 28 pound cat last week Oof. he's already been adopted out uh they named him frosty after the wendy's dessert Oh, oh, Frosty. He's got a big belly to us, Rob. His new owner promised to help trim him down. Uh, by the way, the same place in Virginia last year rescued a 42-pound cat. Wow, that is huge. Also in Virginia, a woman in Lynchburg named Jessica Vincent bought a vase at Goodwill last summer for $4 and just sold it at auction for a hundred and ten thousand dollars. I haven't been in Goodwill in about a month, maybe longer. I got to get back there. I'm waiting to find the riches. This vase was made by a famous Italian designer, Carlos Scarpa, in the 1940s. How about that? In fact, we have a vase that was Brian's mother's that was also made in Italy. I'll be checking that later. All right. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna. Uh, do it. He gives you something to do. Good. Keep yourself busy. <laughs> and, and a U.S. Army vet in Texas named Harry Cerezo turned 101 this month. He joked to his niece that he wanted to celebrate somewhere he could see beautiful women. Oh. So his niece took him to Hooters for his 101st birthday. Why not? Why not? And they have pretty good food, too. If You know what? I haven't been. True story. Haven't been to a Hooters, I got to tell you. Never? No, no. 20 years? I mean, it's been a long time. It's been a long time for us, too, but they opened one near our home years ago, and the boys were really into it. Uh-huh. Oh, please. <laughs> and I think we had a party there, as Casey got out. I, I li- literally do. Um, yeah, and they had these big, fat wings. Their wings were really, really good, too. I do remember the food being yeah. pretty good, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, his VFW helped throw this party with cake and balloons. Of course, of course. once the niece went to the VFW and said, we're going to have a party at Hooters, all the 90-somethings oh, and all that they, they all went. All those dirty little uncles. <laughs> they all went running. This guy yeah. turned 101. Um, well, he deserves that party and more. By the way, his niece says he'd never even heard of Hooters, but now it's his favorite dinner spot. I bet it is. And uh-huh. you know how much attention those waitresses paid to him? I'm oh, quite a lot. So cute. Yeah, yes. must have been. Uh, Candy, that's it. That does it for us today. All right, all right. Well, maybe go find a Hooters today. Yeah, you know what? I'll be lucky if I get out my door today. We'll see. <laughs> see how it goes. Feel um, better. 
Uh, yes, uh, yeah, Candy and I both a little, uh, not, you know, a little, little tired. So tired, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so t- the the rain, the the we're at the point now where you're going to start to see the temperature rise above freezing, turning to rain, but it's still definitely icy and a little uh, dangerous messy. out there. Messy. Let's just say it's messy. Messy. Be careful if you're uh, if you're headed out or out there already. Uh, thanks to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. We'll catch everyone tomorrow morning. Uh, let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.